Chief Washington Correspondent Major Garrett is here with CBS News Special Correspondent Alex Wagner, who's also co-host of The Circus on Showtime, a division of Viacom CBS. Good morning to Good you morning. Both. Good morning, Tony. I know at least you were at that rally yes, as well and last thousands night. of others. And thousands of others. <laughs> here's, here's a problem for President Trump. Those are the diehards. Sure, of course. If you walked and talked to those voters, many of them were out in 2016, but he's yeah. got to expand the electorate in 2020 to win again. So he lost here by about 2,800 votes and made a reckless charge last night that there was some vote fraud there. New Hampshire has thoroughly investigated that up one side, down the other, a completely false allegation. Laying it out there is part of this Trumpian idea that it was a close loss, but somebody did something wrong to me. Completely factually incorrect. And yet, the president keeps going back to that here, insulting essentially the whole entire New Hampshire electoral process and the investigations into allegations of voter How fraud. How important does that suggest this state is to him winning in 2020? It sticks in his craw that he lost narrowly. He wants to win again, but look at 2018. Democrats gained across the state, county, local, state, and federal offices. So there's a lot of enthusiasm yeah. here. The president's trying to counter-program his way around that if he can. Alex, you've had uh, a, an opportunity to look up close at some of that enthusiasm yeah. as you crisscross the state with uh, Democrats looking to replace President Trump. Sanders and Buttigieg leading in the polls. Who's got the edge? For the last couple of days, Pete Buttigieg and his campaign have been sort of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Amy Klobuchar talking about crowd size. I have 1,800, you have 1,100. Last night, Bernie Sanders held a rally in Durham, New Hampshire, and there were 7,500 people in the audience, Tony. Wow. It is, you cannot... To be fair, there was live music. There was live music, but I spent a lot of time on that line talking to the people who were going in there, and they were interested in Bernie Sanders. It was not about the Strokes, it was not about AOC, it was about Bernie Sanders. And it is an indicator of the depth of the support he has and the emotional there is an emotional core to to the Sanders supporters that does not exist anywhere else in this democratic primary. New Hampshire has a reputation for leveling front runners mm -hmm. but also potentially elevating underdogs and I, I want to get a question about Amy Klobuchar cuz she seems to be rising in the polls. She What's does. Behind that? Listen, I think Joe Biden's decline is also related to Amy Klobuchar's ascent, but I spent time with Amy Klobuchar. She works harder than almost anybody in this race, which is saying a lot cuz everybody's working really hard. A lot of her campaign is propelled by the candidate its own momentum and her ability to just press the flesh and connect with voters on a really intimate level. And had two great nights here. Yeah. Friday night at the debate, Saturday night at the big dinner that they had at the main arena where Trump was last night. There's a slingshot effect that sometimes happens in New Hampshire. Someone has a really great bit of momentum that's surprising and boom, they run to the top or get near the top. I think she's in a strong position to finish third. And if it's a close, close third, like right behind Bernie and Pete, that will be a big news story, and it will be a deep disappointment to Elizabeth Warren, who yes. spent months and months and months organizing here. It could fastidiously, and that organization may not be enough to that help That is her. a huge storyline. The loser of this is a big storyline coming Could, out. Thank you both very much. And that is indeed a very big storyline, because as we send it back to you guys in New York, it's important to remember that no major party nominee has ever gone on out of New Hampshire without finishing in the top two. So people in three and four, their campaigns, historically speaking, may be over. Yeah, we're looking for that slingshot effect. Thanks, yeah. Tony.